Hey guys, Rika here. And today I'm gonna to be going over what to pack when traveling to Mexico. So anyways, in a few short days, I get to see Wyatt again. His family and us are going on a trip to Mexico for the holidays and I need to pack. And so I thought I would bring you guys with me. And hopefully if you're interested in traveling to Mexico, this video can help you out a little bit on knowing what to pack. First off, swimsuits. The question is, how many swimsuits am I gonna bring? You think I have enough? This is a really good thing to pack if you're going to somewhere in the coast of Mexico or if you plan on swimming at all. Now what I like to do with my swimsuits is put them in this little pocket area of your carry-on. Hopefully you have that. I'm not really quite sure if that's good technique, but personally I do that every time that I pack swimsuits because it's just a perfect place for them. They don't wrinkle, they don't take up space in this little area here of the suitcase. I think it's really nice. Now I'm definitely bringing a skirt and a pair of jean shorts. Now, personally, what I would do to kind of cut down your amount of clothes that you're bringing is get one pair or two pairs, depending, of jean shorts because they pretty much go with every shirt and you get one or two skirts that are a neutral color like black that can also pretty much go with everything. And then you just mix and match your shirts and that can create a ton of outfits with less amount of clothes. Personally, I think dresses are one of the best things you can bring to Mexico, particularly dresses like these that are flowy and that you can just kind of throw on because you can literally wear them as cover-ups, you can wear them as regular clothes, you can wear them out to eat, but you can also wear them just walking around shopping and in a more casual setting or formal setting. You can even sleep in them. This is my particularly favorite one to sleep in. So I love, love, love dresses and would definitely recommend bringing a few that you could just throw on whenever. Next, I'm gonna bring some shirts. Now, I definitely have way too many in my hands right now. I just decided I would bring them all out and sort through them. Now, what I like to do is pack a variety of tank tops and short sleeves, because you never know, right? Now, I decided to do this one separate from the other suits, because I feel like this suit can also double as a top. And I've actually done that before with the black skirt and I thought it was so cute. That's really one thing that I love about tropical type destinations is that you can literally wear a swimsuit as an outfit. And that is another way to kind of save room in your suitcase. The next thing I wanna bring is sunglasses. How do I look? Cute? Thanks. <laughs> Sunglasses are a must when going in a place with sunny weather. Also a tip for those who tend to lose their sunglasses, especially if you're on a beach with a lot of waves in the ocean. Definitely have done that before. Not fun. I recommend one of these, which is called, not a dongle. Go not goggles either. <laughs> what is it called? You know what? Croaky, a croaky. Croakies. Get a croaky if you tend to lose your sunglasses. They are very helpful. If for those of you who don't know what a croaky is, I'm guessing most of you probably do, but I'm gonna show you anyway. You can put it on the ends of your sunglasses like so. So it's right in there. And then you put it around your neck and so you can put them on and then when you don't want them on they just stay on you it's pretty cool i think it's cool all right and then i don't have it right now but definitely pack some sunscreen and i love to pack scrunchies that's what i use for my hair anyway 
Gonna need a hairbrush. You've gotta pack that toothbrush. And earbuds. That's more for the plane. So actually, I'm gonna put that in my personal item. Probably have sunglasses too. Another thing that I probably will bring is this white sweater that I'm wearing. You know, I never needed it when I went to Mexico the first time. Probably won't need it this time, but you don't wanna be in Mexico and for some reason it be chilly and you not have a jacket, right? That's my theory on things. So I always try and pack at least one easy throw on sweater, especially too for the airport too, because you know, the airplane can get cold, the airport can get cold. And if you want your basic toiletries, it really just depends on where you're staying. Wyatt and I will be staying in a resort for the first half and then an Airbnb in the second half, so we kind of get a vibe of both. But one thing that I wanted to stress to you guys is that Mexico, depending on where you're at, definitely in Mazatlan, Mexico, where I'm going, they pretty much have everything that you need toiletries wise. So worst case, if you forget something or if you don't want to bring anything toiletries wise, they'll pretty much have it. They do have a Walmart in Mazatlan. So they pretty much will have stuff you need if you want to wait but until you get there or if you forget something, I wouldn't really worry. Next, I'm going to show you what type of gear I'm bringing for the vlog. Wyatt has a lot of our gear with him, so he'll probably bring a lot of it, but the gear that I have is also super important, and if you're curious kind of what we use to do these vlogs, you will learn now. So first, obviously, the laptop. So important. That is literally where I do almost everything. Editing, Premiere Pro is on here, everything, everything. And with the computer, you need a computer charger. Also, since I have a MacBook, I'm gonna need a connector. This allows me to use the mouse, which I'm also bringing. Also, I can put SD cards in it. I can use USB plugins in here. Uh, I can use a monitor if I want. This basically is a great little connector for everything. One of the most important things, the external drive. Ah, it literally has pretty much all of our footage saved on here. I have one and then Wyatt has the other. They're both very precious to us. Also, an external battery. Really helpful. I'm bringing one and then we also have another one with Wyatt and this is just very necessary as a vlogger. We have run out of battery so quickly, especially with the new camera, that having an external battery is necessary to be able to get through a whole vlog. And then of course, a phone charger. One great tip about Mexico, which again, you probably knew, but if you didn't know, which I didn't know, Mexico uses the same adapters and like plugins, so you don't need any different like universal adapter or whatever when going to Mexico. The plugins are the same. Next, a passport because it is a different country. And I'm also bringing my Charles Schwab debit card. This is a great card to bring with you if you are traveling pretty much anywhere, especially if you're traveling long term, because it will reimburse you for all ATM fees. And you will be using the ATM a lot in Mexico because you're gonna have to get Mexican pesos. Some places do take dollars as well, but me and Wyatt particularly used pesos pretty much our entire trip last time we went and so we used this card a lot. But I'm guessing probably if you're going to a resort, it might be a little bit different. Our experience might be a little bit different, but if you know you're gonna be getting a lot of pesos on your trip or if you're concerned that you might be needing to use ATM a lot and you're concerned about the fees, this is the card for you. And that's pretty much all I'm bringing. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in following me and Wyatt's journey to 50 countries, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys later.